Hi everyone, it's me, Mrs. Scrollnert, and today we are going to find out what would happen to the gingerbread man if he went in the river. In all of the stories of the gingerbread man, the gingerbread man is so worried about getting wet. He's afraid something bad would happen to him. We're going to get to find out what would happen to him if he gets wet. Let's take a look at what you need to do this experiment. For this experiment, you're going to need some cups. It helps a lot if you have clear cups. But if you don't have clear cups, it's okay. You can use a different type of cup and just look inside. Any cup will work. A clear cup is the very best if you have that. Then you're going to need water. You'll also need cookies, crackers, or cereal. I don't have any gingerbread men here at my house right now. So the gingerbread man is a cookie, and we know he's a cookie. So I chose some things that are cookies and crackers to find out what would happen to them when I put them in the cups of water. Okay, let's take a look at what you're going to do now. This is what you'll do to perform the experiment. First, fill the cups with water. Now you don't have to fill the cup all the way. I'm going to fill my cups about halfway and just regular water works. One cup, I have four different cups to try this with. I wanted to try a lot of different things. You can do this with as many items as you can. Just make sure you have permission from your parents to be able to use the food to see what happens when it gets wet. That's very important. Okay, so my cups are filled with water. Now, my next job is to look at the cookies, crackers, or cereal I chose. Okay. So here we go. I chose these crackers right here. Let's take a look at it. Oh, this cracker is round. It has little spots on it and salt. It's hard. Can you hear that? It's hard. Yeah. Okay. There's one. Here's another one. Let's see what else we have. Oh, here's a cookie. This is a cookie. Oh, it smells like cinnamon. I love it. This one's really hard. It's kind of cute, too. Look at that. Pretty cute. Okay. I have ooh, a different type of cookie. Ooh, this one smells like chocolate. Mm. It's also hard. Huh. My cookies are kind of hard. And I have one other kind of cookie right here. Pull this out. Wow. This cookie... Is even harder than some of the other cookies. I think it's the hardest cookie of all. Okay, so I've taken a look at my cookies. I've even felt them with my hands. I've smelled them. I'm using my five senses to see what's going on with these cookies and what they're like, just so I have more information for my experiment. Now, my next job is to put the cookies or crackers in the water. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to take this one first. It's going in the water. There we go. Oh, look, the whole thing doesn't fit in the cup, so it's part way in. That'll be kind of fun to look at. This one's going to go, oh, that one doesn't fit in that cup. I'll choose a different one. This one's going in the water. Oh, I like how they're just going part way. That's kind of cool. This one's going in the water. Oh my goodness. And the last one to put in the water right here. In the water. Oh my goodness. Now, what do I do? I watch and wait. As I'm watching and waiting, I want to think. What do I think? is going to happen to my crackers and cookies as they sit in the water. 
How will they change? How will they stay the same? Hmm. What's going to happen? After I think about that, I want to think, how long will it take for the cookies and crackers to change? Then, what does happen? What does happen in the end to the cookies and crackers? Oh my goodness, I can see a change in this one already. Ah! Oh my goodness, what's happening? <gasps> I think I did. Oh, look at that. <gasps> oh my goodness. Now, it's your turn. Try putting cookies or crackers or even a gingerbread if you have it in the water. See what happens. Then... Draw a picture and write about what you find out. I can't wait to see your work.